today we're going to mention a characteristic that actually in and of itself it is not praiseworthy but you should be aware of it and you're going to face it and you have to learn to deal with it it is mentioned by almost all of our scholars who talk about purifying the heart Abu Ismail al-Harawi mentioned it Abu Talib al-Makki mentioned it Imam al-Ghazali mentioned it Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawziya mentioned it and that is the characteristic of feeling alone and strange when you really want to worship Allah the one who wishes to attain the highest level of Jannah, you will find out very quickly that you don't have lots of people around you. And many times you have to break away from other people in society in order that you do the level of worship that you want. And this characteristic in Arabic, it is called ghurba, or to be alone, to be strange, to be like a traveler. And if you look at the Quran and the Sunnah, we find this concept and motif very clearly. In multiple verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that the majority are not an evidence for you to be following. Most of mankind, even if you're eager to do so, they're not going to accept Islam. If you follow the majority of mankind, you will find yourself to be misguided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say Alhamdulillah, but the majority of them do not understand. Understand. The majority of mankind will not believe, will not thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, the Quran praises the minority. In fact, even Iblis recognized this. It is mentioned in the Quran that when Iblis was thrown out of Jannah, what did he say? If you allow me to live, I guarantee you. The the majority of the descendants of Adam, I shall misguide them. But a few I won't be able to. Iblis himself understood. Only a few I will not have access to. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِ الشَّكُورِ How few of my servants will really be thankful to me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the highest levels of Jannah. And he says, ثُلَّثٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ Few of the people of later generations will be able to meet that highest level of Jannah. So the Quran is very clear. If you go with the majority, if you want to be popular, if you want to go with the flow and be with the crowd, that is not the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The path of Allah requires you to break away. And it's not in and of itself praiseworthy, but there is no other solution. Ibn al-Qayyim mentions the Muslim will find himself strange amongst non-Muslims. When the non-Muslims, they come together, they're partying, they're having some type of uh, event or banquet or whatever, and you have to stay away from the alcohol. You have to be slightly different. You feel alone and strange. And then Ibn al-Qayyim goes on, and the righteous Muslim will find himself strange amongst other Muslims. Sometimes you want to be of the righteous following the Sharia. And unfortunately, many of your lay Muslims will not be at that level. You feel strange in that crowd. And then then he says, and those that want to achieve the highest level, spiritual purification, they will feel strange even amongst the righteous Muslims. If you wish to be of those who worship Allah, and you wish to make sure you go to the highest of the high, you will face a type of loneliness, a type of estrangement from the rest of the community, from the rest of mankind. And in fact, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave us some glad tidings about this. He said, give glad tidings, they shall get Jannah, the Ghurabad, the strange people. Of course, Gharib actually means a traveler. He's called strange because when you're a traveler in the old days, you spoke a different language, you look differently, you had no shelter, you had no family and friends, you literally stick out in the crowd. So our Prophet said, give glad tidings to that person who is not like the rest of the crowd. He was asked, who are these people, Ya Rasulullah? He said, the ones who strive for purity when the rest of mankind has become fasted. They go down the route of impiety and this person wants to remain pure. Subhanallah, how difficult is it to remain pure in the world that we live in? How difficult is it to control one's gaze, to control one's desires, to control one's rizq and make rizq halal? How difficult is it to protect one's family from the filth around us? This is where we take consolation. It's not that we aim to be strange, but we take consolation. Yes, we act weird sometimes in public. Yes, we dress differently. Yes, people look at us differently. Yes, we cannot act the way everybody else is acting in the events and the corporate parties and whatnot. We have to be different. So embrace this difference and understand when you are different for the sake of Allah, this is the path of piety. And in one hadith, and we'll conclude with this one, our Prophet ﷺ predicted that a time will come when 
greed will be obeyed and desires will be followed. In other words, mankind will become corrupt. So our Prophet ﷺ said, when that time comes, listen to this, make sure you take care of yourself and ignore the masses. By ignore, it doesn't mean don't preach to them. It means don't follow them. It doesn't mean you don't have a responsibility to be a role model. It means don't take them as role models. This is a hadith. Take care of yourself and ignore the masses. Then he said, a time will come when the one who is patient upon the religion will face the type of persecution or the type of pain that the one who holds on to burning coals. It's as if when you want to worship Allah in that society, you might be picking up some hot coals, some hot coals in your hand. That's how difficult it is. And then he gave some good news to all of us. He said, the one who stays upon his deen in that time shall get the reward of 50 of you. The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, do you mean 50 of us or 50 of them? Do you mean 50 amongst us, the Sahaba? One person in the later times has the potential to earn the reward of 50 of us or surely you meant 50 of them? He said, no, 50 of you. And this is good news for us, glad tidings for us. Obviously the maqam of the Sahaba, we can never reach it. But the ajr of somebody trying to worship Allah when everybody has gone spiritually bankrupt, when everybody is preaching fasad, when there is no morality and you want to preach morality, practice morality, Morality, when there is no akhlaq and you want to be upon akhlaq, well then, you're going to have to embrace ghurba, strangeness. You're going to have to embrace being different from the crowd. You're never going to be cool. You're never going to be mainstream and accept it. It's okay. That's the reality of the one who wishes to achieve the highest of the high. Mahum. You want to be from the qaleel. And so embrace this and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are from those who are worshipping him.